go second, and the loser will remain in third. But both of them will still go through the groups. Wow. wow. Mr. Gets Rail uses it, and, but he's not really connecting now. He's, he's hitting another, though. Gecko will die to one more. He's trying to back out. He's got a shotgun, so if Twister went through the teleporter, then Gecko may have Gekko. been able to punish him. Yeah, he stays alive with two health. He's still alive, but he doesn't have anything. I don't think he wanted to stay alive like that. Has he found the 50 health bubble or anything like that? Uh, he has 37 points as well. And he found 4 5 HP, but he doesn't go for them. He goes for 25. So he's, he's back on 50-50, pretty much. Nice. Perfect. That's all you need, really. Why is he complaining? I don't think he's complaining. I am. <laughs> Twister can make himself 200-200, though, as soon as he decides to pick up that red. No delay whatsoever. So it means you want to... Make sure you left Gekko bullied away from both the major items by the time they spawn. So we're probably gonna see some aggression from Twister coming in. Well, he's gotta find him though, and he knows where he is. Where he is because uh, he was firing rockets up through that little window. Uh, Gekko's gotta be like 100, 150 or something. He's oh. 100. Oh wow. Now they're completely even, and Twister doesn't have position. He has to let go of that rat. Great grenade work. And that's it, man. I was talking about this yesterday. On Sinister, when are we going to be seeing that teleporter exit really taken care of properly? And Gecko's shown that he's very keen on doing that, especially the game against Cyber and now against Twister. Yeah, people need to fear going through that teleport. They need to see it as a risk. Yeah, exactly. Teleporters are meant to be scary, basically. You uh, can get a little frag in there, damn it. Oh. Is Gecko still hovering over it? Is he going to be looking for damage? No, he's just left. Is that, is he... is that the, the red? And Twister doesn't even. Uh, believe it, and Gecko managed to actually steal the Mega Wave. That was a good rocket, though. Gecko should be able to get onto Yellow Armor. Twister making his way up to the top one, but these these Yellows don't really benefit him anymore at this point. There's Gecko, and bullies Twister away from the Red. This is good, he's just coming out at the right times. Gotta be careful with those rockets. 100, 100, 100, there's the Rail Switch. Gecko gets another, and he's picked up the, the Red Armor now. So much damage exchange from both players, the Twister is the one left barely anything. What's Gecko got? Oh, now he has 73-0. Ouch. One rail would kill them. They both miss their rails. Uh, Gecko, oh, sorry, Twister, a little bit above the available threshold, but he's landing his rail shot. So does Gecko. Eight health left. If he switched to machine gun, he would have got the kill. Or shotgun. Anything. All that. Even Pummel would kill him there. Oh my oh. god! <laughs> right on the face. Nice. But it's been three minutes into this game, still no first blood decided. It looks like Twister's pretty damn keen on getting himself second place through the groups. He can't imagine it any other way. And this is a guy that he would have played in practice a lot. And probably beaten a lot in practice. Oh yeah, definitely. So he's, he's expecting to take the win here. He, he can't see it happening any other way. And it's all on I'm deck now to change that. That Gecko saw the previous Twister game, so he knows his little hiding spots. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I don't see why not. But I, I'm, I can't tell though. I don't know if he actually watches between his games or anything. Because he was, he was waiting for. I'm not sure who was he waiting for. A cyber, possibly. That was a. He had a lot of games in a row. I think it would have been a cyber game uh, later on. Twister's going to be able to get back to 100-100. He's been fighting from nothing for some time now. Gecko should have the overwhelming control for the time being. And Gecko really makes use of those grenades. Yeah, I barely know where they spawn. <laughs> where do they spawn? Shut up. <laughs> no, seriously. I'm trying to remember. <laughs> I'm going to stick on the to see where do they spawn. Oh, getting a rocket though, Twister's gonna have to run up. Oh, he's looking the wrong direction, and Gecko's trying to get rails from all different sides. Do they spawn by the window? I think. No, I th that's, no that's only the 50. The, the, the I think you're thinking of the wrong window. Okay. You're thinking of the wrong window, I'm pretty sure. Oh, there, no, it's, it's at the lower yellow. Oh, of course, we're Muppets, aren't we? Yeah, pretty much. Because you're getting a lot of damage now, he just evened up the stats. And a little bit more damage would make him in the defense, but does he want to go for the bastards? He has Again, the grenades. 
He hasn't been shown to be very comfortable or keen in fighting his opponent directly. Oh, the Gekko LG there from Gecko. He's done a lot of damage. This could be the first blood here. He's dropping, but it's an air rocket from Twister. It might be a turnaround. More rocket splash. Oh, he's low, and that's going to be the shotgun to finish it off. Gecko gets first blood, and it might be a quick second. A nice vertical rail at the end. Very nice vertical rail. I think this should do. Oh, it's well. a nice chase. Gecko picks the right time to go through a top one. He took a direct rocket, but he extends that lead. So, how is Twister going to start this game from the chase point? Yeah, he can't use the same strategy as before. Or he can, but that would be very dumb. <laughs> exactly. Maybe maybe Gecko can use his strategy. Who knows, that would be crazy. Oh, he's going to actually let uh, Twister get himself onto red. And Gecko took that Mega, having only 40 health when he picked it up. So Twister he's could be to go for good. very hard angles. I'm going to be super surprised if we see Gecko now play a, a hyper passive game. Oh, he finds a nice direct rocket onto Twister just then. Here come the grenades as well. He's well stacked on them. And again, the rock is, uh, he's just zones Twister out really nicely. Rel for a rel. That's going to benefit Gecko, I reckon. He can get that 25 health ball. He's going to go for the 50, in fact. He's going to jump up as well. This could be bad for him because he didn't pick up the Mega, but he gets it just in the nick of time. The rail will help Twister a lot. They're getting the frag. First scream. He missed it. Can he get the rest of this? Here's oh. Gecko. Oh, wow, beautiful rocket. Just I throws Twister away. Gecko had to be so careful there. Oh, he's gonna get the rail in the end. Three to zero now. Amazing shot. And he he had to play that carefully because as soon as he realized, okay, I'm on 75 health, and he hadn't picked up the red still. He had to make sure he did that, and then uh, Twister just went into his line of sight, and that was really where it went off for him. This is gonna be mega for Gecko as long as he doesn't get hit by the rail. He does get hit by the rail. Here we go. Two frags make up for three minutes. Unless Gecko goes completely passive, which it isn't, you know, so much totally unexpected. He's going up the jump and he's chasing. And he gets a negative frag. Oh, yeah. Why was that? Like ten seconds later? Yep, yeah, it's a good spawn frag. Gecko wasn't able to get away in time. Maybe he should be as stamping a little bit faster. Twister still doesn't have a rocket, and he's got hardly any LG. Actually, going through the teleporter then would have been a genius move. Does he want rockets? Though? But he didn't do it. Does he want anything? Does he want anything other than the rail? Well, the Mega's still there, he's gonna get it. Hey, he's okay. looking really good. I'm scared for Gecko. Yeah, I, get, uh, I think even Gecko is scared for Gecko. <laughs> and he's gonna try and hold ground here, get some rocket damage. In the end, he's gonna kill himself, and that is gonna be the scores tied with two minutes left on the clock. Twister certainly had a bad first, bad first half, but he's uh, making up for it here, keeping head strong. Yeah, I'm Gecko is about 7 minutes in control, only managed to get those 3 frags. Twister managed to type the game so damn fast in under 1 minute. Oh, Gecko missing his rails. Well, Twister doesn't want to jump up. There's the Mega. Twister gonna try and go through and fight onto red. Gecko might need okay. to run away. How's he gonna do this? Oh, the rocket's gonna save his life! And he's actually gonna go for top yellow instead. It saves his life, but he pretty much destroys his opportunity of trying to get the frag in the next minute. Then he might get frag instead now. Oh, the rock is amazing! He can't. He doesn't have time to get another rock out in the nick of time. A lot of damage. Time. Yeah, a huge amount. Look at the item. Still 10 seconds until big items are up. If he can hit a rail right now, that would be great. He should be able to secure a major item. So I think there's going to be one more big fight that could decide the outcome of this match. Yeah, if it goes the favor of Gecko, then we could see overtime. If it goes the favor of uh, Twister, then quite possibly GG. Twister is getting a lot of armor now. He's on 200, 150. And Gecko needs to be so damn careful. He's just running, man. He's just getting the hell out of here. Still got 45 seconds left to fight. How is he gonna trap? What's the stack? What, what's Gecko got? Oh, That's yeah. not the fight he wants to go for. He needs to run away now. Wow. Does do so. I'm going over to him. He's got. He's going to get Mega. It spawns right next to him. And he's going to be able to get a yellow armor. But what else is he going to be able to do now with 25 seconds left? Stacks are even at this point. Gecko, he needs a fight. He needs to find Twister. He's got to go to red. Twister's right above him. He heard, he heard him. 
Can he actually close the distance? He can't get to it, man. There's, there's eight seconds left. Gecko's got to run for it. And he's taking too much time. He's got to go to the other side of the window, but there's no way he can do that. Three to two. Twister takes it and secures second spot in the group. But Gecko has made it. He's made it through to uh, the next week of 125 FPS October League play. So still a great performance by him today. And uh, I'm proud. I'm really proud. Yeah, great performance from Twister and Gecko. And obviously Evil going first, mm -hmm. which is not the most.